I was browsing Kijiji when I came upon this ad. I really didn't have a purpose. Maybe fix it up and resell it. Maybe make it into a NAS. The spec sounded okay, so I went to go pick it up. It was in a gross basement apartment, so I didn't test it, and I got out fast. When I booted it up, I was happy to see that it ran. The processor was better than expected. It ran, ran it had Windows Ultimate, not Home. It had 3 gigs, not 2 gigs of RAM, and there was a disc of movies in the DVD drive score. Sorry, nothing racy. I was thinking about an old video where I made a video editing computer for around $20. It ran and still does Ubuntu and OpenShot. I've been editing all my videos on it since. It works great, but I did a number of upgrades uh, for the components, so now that build is around $90. $90 is great for a video editing computer, but I wanted to try to do a similar build and see if I could do it for just as cheap two years later. I'm trying to prove yet again that you can have a video editing computer for around $20 and this time running Windows and of course using free editing software, in this case Windows Movie Maker. It really smelled of smoke and BO. It had a layer of fur and hair, a centimeter of dust, so I really had to clean it out. While I was at it, I might as well change the thermal paste. Once it was degrossed, I started reassembly. As I was putting it back together, I really didn't like the way the front looked, so I decided to modify it. I started by removing the broken plastic front panel, disconnecting the power switch LEDs and front panel mic, headphone jacks, and USB. I manhandled the switch and LEDs into the audio mic USB panel, and that was that. I know it's a bit ugly though. Good old dollar store mesh basket to the rescue. I cut some pieces to fit the larger openings and glued them in. Some fit better than others though. I had a lot of red LEDs left over from the computer desk build, yes, I'm still working on it, so I thought what the hell, I'll put some in. I spray painted the front, flat black, and that was it. I think it looks better than the original broken computer and the LEDs make it look, well, brighter. Let me know what you think and don't be so cruel. This took me an afternoon to do. Now I have a pretty cool video editing computer for only $20. It's got just enough juice to edit this video, and as a bonus, it's really quiet. Now don't get me wrong, I know this is uh, not for everybody, but if you want to get into YouTube, making some videos, uh, just editing your own home family videos, things like this, $20, and I've even found ones that are a little cheap, around $15, that you can buy off of Kijiji, and you're set to go, and you're doing some video editing. You don't have to spend $400, $1,000 for something like this. You're limited with Movie Maker and other free editing software, but it works, and it works fairly well, and this video is done on this computer, by this computer, and I think it looks all right. Tell me what you think, and uh, see you in the next one.